On Capitol Hill now, the Republican-led House has passed a bill to raise our nation's debt ceiling, but the Democrat-led Senate said it's uh, dead on arrival in their House. The measure raises the debt ceiling by $1.5 trillion or until the end of 2024. The bill would also cut government spending by $4.5 trillion. This comes just a few months after the government hit its debt limit back in January. The Treasury Department then took measures to avoid a default, but says the government can only do so until sometime this summer. The Maggard Republicans would pull cops off our streets, drive a wrecking ball through our border security, making it easier for deadly fentanyl to flood our streets. You had said for months that House Republicans need to produce their plan. They did. You said that you didn't think they had the votes. They had the votes. You probably don't have 60 votes to, uh, for a clean debt ceiling increase. So isn't it incumbent upon you and the White House to negotiate a deal with spending cuts to raise the debt ceiling? These cuts, as we have pointed out as our hearings will, are so draconian. The American people don't want them, and we cannot. These are not even cuts. And this is not a plan. This, is a, hard, this is a hard right-wing wish list that everyone knows has no chance of passing and puts the American people in McCarthy's giving two choices, given his hard right and how he's caved into them. Either a plan that defaults on the debt or a plan that defaults on American families in a very, very severe way.